So she already planned that. Cool. She gave the letters beforehand. She was sure he would do whatever to the point she was not checking on his results. Okay. I would have checked, but... The letter is meaningless now, but... It's a matter of importance to the duchy. Hand it over, or I'll take it from you, plain and simple. But I was to deliver it personally. Let no one else see it. Man. It is what she said, and she was frightening. Man. You ought to heed folk who are kind and honest. This man helped me a short while ago, helped all of us. If this individual threatened you, you need not keep the promise you made. All right, take it. I didn't want to see the boot black anyways. It's always muddy there. <coughs> What is it? Uh. Another name, truly? See for yourself. Well, well. I... I must say, even I did not expect this. What? This what? time you will see to our duquesa. Oh, it's come on. We underestimated Siana rather grossly. Oh, come on. We all expected Judging this. By this, uh. Detloff was literally supposed to tear her heart out. Yet first you must snap her neck. Puzzling. Puzzling? Riches? Oh my god. You guys. I'm surrounded by idiots. <sighs> Puzzle complete now. Alas, the matter ceased to be a tantalizing brain tease and has turned incredibly grave. <sighs> We've proof of a plot to assassinate Toussaint's ruler. We've proof of a coup d'etat. No! <sighs> <laughs> I mean, if this was supposed to be a coup, it's probably the worst in history. <laughs> Hell, I mean, you don't have the military of the country with you. You don't have a faction, so you don't have anybody that supports you inside the palace, inside the military, and inside the populace. I still think this is a personal vendetta more than anything else. Um, this doesn't make sense as uh, you think it would, Regis. As I thought it would. Because I also thought it was political at first. But Anna Arietta is actually not a bad ruler and she's not hated by people. If you substitute a somewhat Respected leader, you risk a uh, revolt. Hmm? And you you don't have uh, an army. You have a couple of people from Sintra and some bandits. Excuse me. Duchess was to be Detlof's last victim. Siana planned it from the start. Indeed. The logical conclusion, Geralt. Yeah. Four uh. seemingly random victims to start. The virtues their only link. Enough to get folk talking about a righteous, vengeful beast. Obscured the victim's links to Siana, even as she had those she despised killed off one by one, leaving the Duchess for last. Had she managed to fulfill her plan, none would have questioned the reason. Really? Most would have thought Anna Henrietta had died for her sins. But she was known to show a hard heart on many occasions, ample proof of a lack of compassion. Why oh. would Siana murder her own sister? Out of envy? To take power? From an inborn pension for evil. Oh, guys. Yes, yes, and yes. <sighs> All seem likely, and none are mutually exclusive. But if you'd like to know for certain, you could always ask her yourself. I don't understand you guys. Whatever. Uh, I mean, it's a truth universally acknowledged that the populace in general is pretty stupid. But you honestly think nobody would question 
a new ruler magically returned from the exile thanks to a serial killer. And let's talk about the compassion thing, because I know Anarietta is sometimes childish and spiteful, and I don't agree with some of the spiteful things she's done. But if lack of compassion is punishing the people who actually go against her, I cannot blame her for that. You might want to be compassionate, but not when people try to dethrone you or betray you politically. It's dangerous to be forgiving in those situations because you give the wrong message. They had to set this better up if they wanted to go full coup. Come on. <sighs> Talking with Siana, why not? Why not? Actually, love to learn her motives. Praiseworthy, I suppose. Sometimes one should stare evil in the face. Evil? Seems a bit strong, no? <laughs> she used my friend as her tool for killing. I believe I've every right to condemn her. But I support your lust for the truth. Oh my god. Some philosophers think empirical examination the sole path to knowledge. No. I believe you mentioned the Duchess keeps Siana locked up. Courtiers were insisting on a harsher punishment. Much harsher. I think Anna Henrietta had to protect her sister from a lynch mob as much as she wanted to protect her subjects from a criminal. One way or another, she's locked away in a secluded wing of the palace, awaiting trial before a court of law. I'd need to get past some guards to see her. Would that be a problem, really? I don't know. Coming with? Of course not. <laughs> I shall await you at Mayor Lachey's long. I'll not risk entering the palace after Detlaf and his minions' rampage. Besides, I vastly prefer the company of a simple mug of mandrake brew to that of the Duchess's vile sister. <laughs> so, said straight up, it means you're going off to get drunk because you hate Siana. I've never been fond of categorical statements of that kind. But I admit I could not vouch for my behavior in her presence. Oh my god, just go. She treated Detlaf cruelly. Cause his death in the end, and now this, atop all that, no, Geralt. I will not go with you. I will await you at the cemetery. My god. Shouldn't he be a little self aware of the fact that he never actually kept that laughing check or in control? I mean, that laugh, guys. Seriously. He could have literally f me over. All he needed to do was Stop leave. Send the whip away, those running riot. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So I'm going uh, this way. I'm talking to Siana. Optional. It's all right. So I'm going in there. Is Anarietta here? The guard brings peace to our domains. Cloud its writ and rot in chains. Where is she? Well, okay, let's stick to what we have to do. Please. I think I've been here. Um in here during my explorations but seriously do I have to go back to Fable World? she's there, I mean the quest thingy I swear that those doors were um Stairs were open before because I remember getting into there was uh, food and a bed chamber. So I'm entering from here. I got out from here last time, but I entered it from above. Why? 
Why did you lock me out now? Look how nice the mural. Nice. Yeah, because I wanted to see inside the um, uh, palace. So eventually I tried to get in from every door that I could activate, right? And I managed to get in here. So... Why? Ah, yeah, because I don't have Swallow, I have the other potion. I was thinking, why is my toxicity just... Let me set my stuff straight, please. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I remember being here. There is food here, yeah. This... This looks like a kitchen. It's very pretty. Hmm. Oh yeah, this was locked. So she's probably in the bed chamber. Hello, you. Halt. Need to see Sienna urgently. In the matter of. Um. Let's give a motivation that's actually undeniable. Need to interrogate her. New facts have come to light. Need them explained. Seems she was planning your to kiss his assassination. <gasps> Surprise! Fine then. Oh wow! You're that witcher who solved the murders, no? Yeah. Then you've my permission, <laughs> but only for a few minutes. Promise to be brief. <laughs> I'd probably need an Arietta's permission for this, but okay. <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> Taking everything into his hands. It would have made more sense if I could speak to Damien. <laughs> the Witcher will speak with the inmate. You can take a momentary break. As long as it's truly but a moment. Highly irregular, this. <laughs> yeah. Have you come to see how I fare? I'm fine, thank you. Artorius's Ripon worked wonders. It's a shame they took it from me. I for... know who the fifth victim was supposed to be. Goodness, you're simply a compulsive snoop. Yep. I'm in prison. <laughs> Deadlaf is dead. Could you not just drop it? Sienna, stop pretending you couldn't care less. I know it's an act, and it's really starting to wear. Uh, I don't know. Why do you want to kill her? <laughs> For such an accomplished investigator to ask about the obvious... No, don't worry. Geralt, why do you think? <sighs> I mean... I still don't think this is about a coup, because... Alright, I've already explained that, so... Because she turned her back on you, then banished all memory of you? Bravo, Geralt. Yet another riddle solved, and your sick curiosity sated. Sick? <laughs> well, what now? Off to share your discovery with Anna Henrietta. Though she's no longer in danger, true. But she very well might add a little something to your reward. <sighs> Definitely gonna tell her. Not necessarily for the coin, though. Then why do it at all? She oughta know. If only cause you'll probably try to kill her again if she ever lets you out. I probably will. <sighs> I don't know why you're being so aggressive, Geralt. I mean, it's not like she doesn't have a motivation, all right? Still, I don't know. I mean, they could talk it out. But again, I don't... I've never seen... I mean, it doesn't seem to me like Anna Rieta estranged the Siana on purpose. Like... 
Also, was she? Was Anarietta the one who banned the memory of her? Or I thought it was her parents. Their parents, because when they dragged her away, I'm pretty sure it wasn't on Anna Arietta's orders. I, I don't... I don't... I'm a bit confused. Perhaps, just for a second, you could stop dwelling on all the wrongs folk have done you and forgive her. Why should I? For old times' sake, you loved each other once. You don't have to! I don't know who fed you that rubbish, but... <laughs> exactly. In your governess's diary, you played together, were inseparable. Honoria'd get you into trouble sometimes, sure, but there were also times she stood up for you. When you had nightmares, only she could calm you. Time eats away at memories, distorts them. Sometimes we only remember the good, sometimes only the bad. True. What are you doing? <laughs> if she loved me so, why did she wash her hands off me? Forget me, hmm? But she didn't. Technically, I mean, she kept searching uh, for you, but she was a child, huh? Because I don't have the the timeline of this. I don't know how old was Siana when she was when she was cast out. <sighs> also, she doesn't have to forgive her if she doesn't want to. But she has to stop being a psycho because it's just making her situation worse. <laughs> Might ask her that. She was a child. Yeah, she was a child. Also, but also might ask her that. Because Anarieta has already said that she wants to talk. <sighs> Seriously. Sienna, you were exiled when she was how old? Oh. 12, 13? She was a child. Okay. Yeah, a child. What was she supposed to do? Rebel? Organize a coup? Steal your father's seal and forge a pardon? She was powerless. Wiped you from her memory not because she didn't care, but because your departure was traumatic for her. She forgot because that was the only way she could handle the pain. Mm, probable. Hey, she was a preteen. <sighs> You really want a happy ending, don't you? No, do whatever you want. Just Ugh, like all of us living happily ever after. You're imprisoned. Go, Witcher. Or they'll give your medal to another. And that would be a shame. Huh? Farewell, Siana. I don't know, you could talk with her and that's it. You don't have to forgive her. Nobody has to forgive anybody, but you have to let go at some point. Manta de la Tour would like to see you. Shall we go at once? Yes. Wait, do I have to change? Because I went in with my armor and... I reload if I have to change. I swear. Let's go. Wanna see him too. <laughs> yeah, poor guy. Completely forgot about him. Damien. Get out. It's about time. Ready for the ceremony. Oh my god, your face. Well, I um need to change, so Okay. I would go like this, but I'm trying to be Decent, whatever. It's not like the game lets you choose, so... Hmm. Don't look too good. He just has another scar. Poor thing. It's alright. He's still kinda handsome. Your face doesn't look good. <laughs> Though it looked even worse last I saw you. 
I apply a balm of Annika. Yeah, I hardly feel it anymore. See. Si. Got some important information. Anna Henrietta was supposed to be Detloff and Siana's fifth victim. You are certain of this? Completely. Found proof. Inconceivable. How could she? Ah. The murders, the mayhem she brought down on the city, were they not enough? She sought to strike down her own sister, her liege, traitor. Well, you know, it depends from the point of I view. Must alert my men. <laughs> Enlarge the Duchess's honor guard. Make certain Sylvia Anna is closely watched during the questioning. I'll see to it. Yes, first. yes, do that. But uh... I thank you, Witcher, for alerting me, and I appreciate your attentiveness. Very well. Let us get things underway. Don your ceremonial uh, attire. Thank. Then you'll come thank with you. me. Her grace awaits. <laughs> thank you for telling me to change. <sighs> I think you must keep an eye on Siana. Oh, automatically changed. Thanks. In the guild's name, I beg your assistance, your enlightened highness. Without barrels, production will come to a stop and it will be the end of us. You lost them all in the fire. These are horrible tidings. Oh, we are most dreadfully saddened. <coughs> yes, your enlightened highness all. Once the beasts had clawed their way into the warehouse, the whole place went up in flames. How? I shall dispatch a palace guardsman to examine the site of the blaze. If things are <laughs> as you say, fitting compensation shall be paid from the ducal treasury. <laughs> Thank you, your enlightened highness. I love how she makes sure of it. I your like grace, it. <laughs> Geralt of Rivia has arrived. My dear subjects, we come now to our next point of business. Of all the duties which fall upon my shoulders, as the ruler of this dominion, this duty is dearest to my heart. For now, we shall award the Order of Vitis Vinifera, hmm? Tucson's highest honor. Geralt of Rivia, slayer of the beast of Beauclair, step forth. What are you doing, Geralt? <clears throat> We bestow the distinction upon the Witcher, who saved Beauclair from the terrible beast. Such is our desire. That's so cute. May this symbol serve as a reminder to all that the Witcher shall forever remain a friend of Beauclair. <laughs> In more familiar terms now, I thank you immensely, Geralt. Damien has your reward for you. After all, it was but a contract. Thank you. I have a small surprise for you, in addition. I give you more than a dozen barrels of Son Real, oh. a wine normally reserved for the ducal table. Uh. The gustatory experience of a lifetime awaits. Are you content? Sure. Um... Seriously, brain? Just don't. Should I tell her? Well, it's better if she hears it from me. Okay, it's not the moment to say this, but... I wish I could just say truly honor and be chill, but... I don't want her to find out from somebody else. I mean, I found it out, so... Let's spill the tea. I am, and truly grateful, Your Grace. Sadly, I'm afraid I have to sour the mood. It's Sienna. She plotted to have you killed, Duchess. Planned to use Dedloff. You were to be the Beast's fifth victim. This cannot be true. You're mistaken. You must be. It's fine. <laughs> I have proof. <laughs> you have your proof. You do whatever you want. It's the truth.
I do not believe it. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> In a moment I shall speak to Siana. Will you assist me? You oh. returned my sister to me, yet what you tell me now I find devastating. I've come to doubt that I can judge her fairly. I'd far prefer to learn you're mistaken, Geralt. Okay, let's do that. I'm not. In fact, I'd recommend you be particularly careful around her. You exaggerate, Witcher. She is my sister. I know well how to speak to her. Yeah, you do, you. If my presence will help in any manner, of course I'll stay. We shall now question a person implicated in the murders which recently ravaged our fair city of Beauclair. Captain de la Tour, show Sylvia Anna in. Oh my god, is something bad gonna happen? I feel like... Oh my god, I'm gonna kill her with my hands if she does something. I'm having faultless flashbacks. The Witcher will take part in our talk. Uh, what is free to do as I choose? What is it? I, I don't. Uh, what is free to do as I choose? I uh, so Duchess asked me to stay is putting it on her. Free to do as I choose. I, I don't know what it means. I'm not a prisoner. Free to do as I choose. You have committed crimes. Grave crimes. Yet you are my sister. And my heart does not allow me to treat you as a common criminal. Nor does it let me believe you sought my demise. My heart yearns to know you were swayed by the monster Detlaf. You yourself would never stoop so low. Thus I have asked Geralt to advise me. As one impartial. I shall now hear what he has to say. What? I don't have the authority to do this, but... Okay. I do feel like she had some kind of motive. I do. I don't agree with how she took everything in her hands. But maybe she felt like there was no other way. Maybe there was no other way. Maybe there was another way. I, we will never know, so we need to deal what with what we have, which is uh, this. Bitterness consumes Siana. She had cause to resent many of the court of Beauclair. I know her reasons, understand them even. But I can't condone the actions she chose to take. What is he talking about, Siana? You know exactly what. I was forcibly exiled, remember? To your benefit. You knew well the throne would then be yours. Though I was the elder. Come on, sisters, I can understand. They'd hated me since I was a child, thought me a poor prospect for the wife of a duke. Huh? I even understand our parents. I'd always sensed the problem. They simply feared me, for I dared to be free. That fabricated curse, it fell into their laps. A gift from above that brought relief. But you. Your dagger hurt most. You were my honorietta, dammit. My darling little sister. Now do you understand, Witcher? She betrayed I me. I thought we had the discussion already. 